Mrs. Graves! Rachel? Hey, what on earth's going on? It's been awful. The thunder and the lightning and all the power went out. And everyone was in the hall, so I told them all to stay put. And then Sean, Sean Davis said he was going to be told what to do by a stupid bloody girl and went out for a cigarette. And then didn't come back. And then Di, she went out after him and she didn't come back but either. Where is Dylan? Was he with Sean and Di? No, I'd be looking after him. Do you think they'll come back? I don't know, Rachel. I don't care what anyone thinks. I just know if he was my baby, I could never leave him. Even if the whole world was coming to an end, I'd make sure he came first. You'd be a good mum, Rachel. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. Go, go back inside and tell everyone that they're doing a great job. A really wonderful job. I just got a few things to finish up here, and then I'll come in and join you. Right. Go on. Weren't you listening to the radio? Because of the flu. There is no flu, Lizzie. Oh, Christ, Stephen, I'm not stupid. Of course there's no flu. But the stations are still closed. There's an access footpath that runs alongside the main tunnel. You can get out that way. They won't have thought of it. You know what's going on, don't you? You can't use the phone anymore. What? Well, like you're not using one right now. Funny. Listen. Just don't use the phone after this. No TV or radio either. It can hide in the signal. Oh, you make it sound like it's alive. I don't think we have a word for what it is. Just promise me, don't tell anyone. Pack quietly, meet me at the station tomorrow, all right? I feel awful lying and leaving all these people here. It was a brilliant idea about the show. Top marks for that, you clever thing. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. your hip giving you grief today? Always gives me grief. And I managed the last ten years, so you're a little late for the night in shining armour routine. Suit yourself, I'm only trying to help. Oh, damn it, Stephen. I'm not some useless, sappy girl that you can just string along forever. Look around you. I made yeah. all of this. I built it on my own when everyone else had written me off as some poor little cripple. You know that's not how I see you. Well, you weren't there, were you? No. You'd given up on me long before the accident. What do you want from me, Lizzie? I love you. I'll do anything. Anything except her, okay? I thought... I love you too, but sometimes I think you just say what you think everyone else wants to hear. I found another dead bird over at the swimming pool. That's the fourth one this morning. Did you fish it out? Yeah. Did you get a chance to think about that pain rise? Oh, I'm sorry, Reese. I've been a little bit busy. Oh, Rachel. Sorry I'm late, Mrs. Graves. I was packing away the tennis things. Did you check Mr. Cole Shelley again like I asked you to? He's not back yet. I haven't seen him either. Do you think he went into town? 
Maybe. Yes. Yeah, oh, like mate, so the dentists were booked in for a four thirty tennis session, but they didn't show up. So I went to their chalet. You know, they always take the one near the campfire, but they weren't there either. I think maybe they went into the village for a Hoover bag and might have given Mr. Cole a lift. A Hoover bag? Why on earth would they do that? Well, I think maybe Mrs. Denton was hoovering and the bag broke, so they had to get another one. Because there's this dust all over their chalet. It's Kate. Elizabeth? Lizzie. I've heard a lot about you. It's good, you know, you and Emma, it's not difficult or anything. Should it be? I'm sorry. You said it wasn't difficult. I don't see why it would be difficult. You and Stephen were together a long time ago. He moved away. It certainly isn't difficult for me. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you or... Well, I'm not offended. Listen, Elizabeth. But Lizzie, please. Lizzie. Right. You seem like an okay type of person. And I'm not trying to be rude, I promise. But let's try and be realistic here, huh? Let's, um, try and do our best. It's a British thing, right? Yeah, yeah. I suppose it is. We'll do our best then. She's done a runner. 
Don't say that, Reese. She wouldn't do that. Would she? What about Dylan? She's not exactly jumped at the chance of looking after him, is she? She just left you to it. She's not coming back. I let her go. She's always thinking of everyone else. There must be something important she needs to do. It looks like you're in charge now. So I guess this means we're not leaving, are we? Spain can wait. Listen, you get back in there, and you make this the best bloody Peter Pan ever performed in England. And I'm going to go and get your mum and dad. Promise me you'll come back? I promise. Is he all right? He's fine. Di, come on. It's okay. Let's get you a cup of tea. Mrs. Graves, I need to tell you. Leave it, Di. Do you try and get out of the valley? All the roads are shut down. I know. I was driving really fast, but the other car was on the wrong side of the road, and, oh, God, I think Di, he... for fuck's sake, leave it. It's all right. Hey, you're all right. Sean's all right. Baby Dylan's all right. That is what matters. Everyone's all right. <laughs> but, you know... Now, I need your help. Some of the children, they're getting quite frightened. So, Rachel and I, we decided to push forward the show, keep them occupied. You said the other night you play piano. Can you help with that? Yes, yes, I suppose so, but Mr Graves, Rob... Can look after himself. He's a big boy now. Don't worry. Just head to the hall and find Rachel. She'll tell you what needs practising. OK, thank you, Mrs Graves. Yeah, Sean. Go and find Reese, please, see if he needs some help. Yeah, of course. Go on.
five towers are now operating together, and I've got the reception up to the red zone, but it's not enough. I'm going to try and route the signal through Tower 6 to create a singular point of reception and re-coordinate the optical array, which should, in theory, focus a signal spike on the point of origin. If I conceptualize this origin point as a seventh tower, then it makes a kind of sense. Kind of. I think we're moving so far beyond everything I understand about physics. Anyway, it's got to be worth a shot. Why, don't they? Yeah, in the village. You don't think she's gone to look for Mr. Graves, do you? I think Lizzie knows Robert will turn up when he's sober. It'll be all right. Do you want me to go and look for her? No, it's okay. Come on, I promised the kids another shot the last number, then I promised everyone a cup of tea. You're very like her, you know. Like Lizzie. Me? No, I'm not. First chance I get, I'm out of here. <laughs> I tried to leave the observatory, but couldn't. I stood at the gates, but couldn't conceive of a world outside. The strangest feeling. As if the valley, Stephen, everything was simply irrelevant. An idea of something, not of something itself. I'm losing track of time. Of whether I'm asleep or awake. My fingers have gone numb at the tips. It's like they still feel, but what they feel is no longer for me, like the signal has been hijacked.
found it like this? Yeah. Are you going to the habit of checking in first thing in the morning just to make sure he's had his pills? Mr. Coles is not a well man, Elizabeth. It's entirely possible he upped and wandered off. If things progressed, the mind can be a fragile thing, you know? It's just not very like him, that's all I'm saying, Doctor. He never misses the mid-morning bingo. He didn't smoke, did he? Not that I knew of. There's a funny... It's like ash. Well, that, that is odd. Reese cleaned in here yesterday afternoon. I'll have to have a word. It's not like cigarette ash. Strange. Dr. Wade, there's just been a phone call. We need it back at the village. Apparently, Mrs. Barton has disappeared. Hi, this is Kate Collins and Stephen Appleton. Leave a message. Stephen, it's me. I'm leaving. I've waited as long as I can. If you are there to meet me, I'm leaving for the station now, but I am going anyway, whether you're there or not. But I love you. Please be there. I love you. We're not even really talking at the moment, if I'm honest with you. I've been sleeping in one of the empty chalets. Otherwise, we just sit there in silence. And then he goes off and pretends he's not drinking from one of his secret little stashes. And I pretend I ain't noticed. And then when we go to bed, it's all I can do not to scream. I don't know why we're still together. Except I do. Still love him. You remind me of Mary when she was your age. If we'd had a daughter, I'd have been proud if she turned out like you. You don't have to say that. Just talk to Robert. Tell him you know he's drinking again. You two can work it out together. I know you uh, can. I wish I had your faith. I just don't want to be the person who stayed because they were afraid to move. I know you can't dwell on the past. I know that, but sometimes you do just think, don't you? What if the accident hadn't happened? I could have been anywhere right now, rather than stuck here, rehearsing Peter Bloody Pan and fixing tumble dryers for the umpteenth time. <laughs> oh, Frank, you are an angel. Don't be that. You're still young, Lizzie. You've got plenty of time to be whoever you want to be. Just don't keep using that leg of yours or that husband as an excuse.
boy, Shipley. I want to work with you. What? Get over here, soft lad, and keep your voice down. Do you know who I am? Yeah? You work for Meg Holloway? Charlie Tate. You can call me Charlie. What's this about, Charlie? Rachel Baker. What about her? Oh, come on, son. I wasn't born yesterday. Are you looking to get your head kicked in? She's 16. She's not a kid. You try telling her dad that. He'll bloody kill you. I love her, though. You can't stop love. I'm not telling you to stop anything. Just be careful, that's all. touch it. It's fine. It's like a sunburn, but it's a funny shape. Is it sore? I can't feel it at all. Don't fuss over it. I can't believe that you left Kate there. Why won't you tell me what happened? She's probably not even noticed I've gone. Ah. Uh, it's really nothing. You're lying. Don't lie to me. Fine. We had a row. She'll work all night anyway. Stephen, listen to me. Was there an accident? Is that how your face got burnt? It's nothing. Something, I don't know. Just got a bit shaken up and then we fought. She wanted to stay and collect more data. Was she burnt as well? Is everything all right? Jesus, Liz, are you sleeping with me? I think it was instant. I, I know that's no help. Are you leaving me alone? There was nothing we could do. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Ben. Oh, you've woken the baby. Just leave me alone. Rachel, I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
shouldn't be smoking, you know. Not in your condition. <laughs> it's Stephen's fault. He got me started again. I'm not going to try and stop you, but the weather's looking pretty rough. There's a storm coming. That's what Stephen said. He said he'll meet me, but there's things he has to do first. He seems to think that all of this is connected to him. I don't know. I, I'm going anyway, whether he comes or not. I'm assuming Stephen has thought of a way through the quarantine. Well, he's clever. You gotta give him that. Do you trust him, though? Well, I love him. So I'd hope that was good enough. I hope so, too. Listen, if you can't get through, for whatever reason, I'm uh, getting people together at the village hall, rounding up stragglers, that sort of thing. Yeah, I've got all the campers together here, doing a show. Peter Pan. The kids love it. It'll take their minds off things. Hey, did you see that? Sleep and love. 